who do you follow? Who should you follow? In Genesis 3, we, we read of when God created mankind. Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 and 27, it says, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. And God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Not in another's image, we were made to be like God, not like another man. John the Baptist was given a task by God to announce that Jesus was here. He gained followers and disciples, yet his disciples left him to follow Jesus. In John chapter 1 we read, Again the next day John was standing with two of his disciples, and he looked at Jesus as he walked and said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. And John didn't call them back and say, Hey, you've still got so much to learn. And he didn't write them off as being lost. He let them go. Was John not up to scratch? In Luke chapter 7, we read Jesus talking about John. I say to you, among those born of women, there is no one greater than John. So Jesus testified that John was the best man who ever lived. John recognized how great Jesus was. John answered his people, saying, I baptize in water, but among you stands one who you do not know. It is he who comes after me, the thong of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. That's in John chapter 1, verses 26 and 27. And John's saying, I'm not worthy to untie his sandals, let alone walk in them. The Pharisees were the keepers and teachers of the law, and they tried to make copies of themselves. But Jesus called them a brood of vipers, and their followers being even worse. In Matthew chapter 23 and verse 15 it says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you travel around the sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he becomes one, you make him twice as much a son of hell as yourself. Jesus didn't say, Hey, well done, Pharisees, you've taught people to follow the law. Paul could boast of great learning. Many of the books of teaching in the New Testament were written by Paul. Yet Paul was against having followers. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 12 and 13, Paul says, Now I mean this, that each one of you is saying, I am of Paul, or I am of Apollos, or I am of Cephas, or I am of Christ. Has Christ been divided? I've heard of people who follow a pastor or minister from church to church, with congregations being split when a minister leaves and half the congregation go with him. This is sadly wrong. You know a good teacher because he doesn't want you to be like him, but wants you to follow Jesus. Jesus the person, not the guy's idea of some safe Jesus that he can control. So where does that leave us? After the resurrection, when Mary met Jesus outside the tomb, Jesus called Mary by name. In John chapter 10, verses 27 and 28, it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. When Jesus was calling people to learn of him, he said, Follow me. Who do you follow? Follow. 